hi guys welcome back and thank you for clicking on this video so i wanted to talk about the documentary framing britney spears um, i watched the whole documentary it's something that pops up every now and again the hashtag free britney and obviously this is something that has been ongoing if you know anything about her story it's quite a unique story and it's quite profound so yeah i wanted to just give you guys an update on that and just talk a little bit about the documentary so let me know your thoughts in the comment section in the description is my paypal and my cash app i would really appreciate all of your support i don't even know where to begin with this whole documentary it was not an easy watch at all from beginning to end it was definitely capturing there were some shocking moments what i really liked is that it really unveiled the truth because when i heard that the documentary was coming out i was a little bit skeptical i was thinking are they going to literally frame her like are they gonna actually make her look like she's crazy um to try and justify the way that they have treated her or are they actually going to expose the truth the show was a focus on the legal conservatorship that in 2008 gave control of britney spears finances medical treatment and more to her father Jamie and a lawyer now the tone of the show was definitely measured it was definitely balanced but it was so disturbing like it was literally like a thriller I could not put my phone down I was like oh my gosh I, I need to watch this beginning to end Jamie her dad he was absent for much of Britney's youth he was a drunk he didn't have the best of lifestyle he wasn't the most stable of all men and um, he was later said to have boasted that she was gonna buy me a boat. Several people claimed that Britney was scared of him. He insisted that he was protecting her. If you did watch the documentary, there was nothing that suggested protect her. There was nothing that suggested genuine care. Of course, we know that this whole free Britney hashtag and movement basically just started from a bunch of fans who started to notice that things did not look right with Britney. And then they started this movement for this whole conservatorship to just end. What was very interesting is that her conservatorship is so unique. She's not an elderly, she's stable, she can look after herself and she has proven and shown that she's more than capable of being independent but yet she's treated like somebody who literally has no sense. I still feel like there was a, a lot of potholes in the documentary like even though it kind of took us on this journey I just kind of still felt like there was a lot of potholes there was there was still a lot of questions that I had like, there was still a lot of things that didn't really make sense to me now what the documentary did provide was a reconstruction of Britney's career through a modern post me too lens shall we say what i liked about the documentary was that it did support the whole idea that britney is some sort of prisoner which she herself had confirmed this whole idea of the conservatorship it's just such an odd story but it's got so much details to it so much significant details the medical reports seen by the judge you know but yet it was kept from public view but originally the agreement was to protect britney and her millions when she was in her most erratic and most vulnerable which was obviously shown when she locked herself up with the kids and they came to take her from that moment when they came to take her I don't know I just kind of felt like was that even necessary to take her the way that they took her and it was almost like from that moment her life was never the same again but obviously now at the age of 39 she is stable enough does she still need that conservatorship does she still need that control this part of the video i'm just going to play a clip um this part of the video was really touched me like i literally just paused for a second and i was just listening to her voice and i was just watching this and i was just like wow like this is so crazy let's just have a quick look so it's better just not to feel anything at all and to have hope than to feel the other way and when you tell people that and when i tell them the way i feel it's like they hear me but they really not listening they're hearing what they want to hear they're not really listening to what i'm telling them she explains how heartbreaking the entire situation was with Kevin. With Kevin, I, because I had two children with him, I did not know what to do with myself. Built my dream home in Malibu, a huge house and the, the pool and a huge yard for the kids and I did everything for them and just my world was 
I did not want to be at home because, like, my babies represented home. That was my home with them. And every time I went home, it was like, oh, God, I can't be here. Then Brittany gets into how the people around her are taking advantage of her. I'm definitely angry with myself for letting people take advantage of me. I'm angry with people for taking advantage of me and for letting it go on for so long. But I have to go on with it. I look at it for what it is and I have to live on with it. She explains how hopeless she is, saying even when you go to jail, you know when you get out. If I wasn't under the restraints that I'm under right now, you know, with all the lawyers and doctors and people analyzing me every day and all that kind of stuff, like if I wasn't there, I'd feel so liberated and feel like myself, kind of stuck in this place and it's like, how do you deal, you know, and you just cope and that's what I do, I just cope with it. <laughs> Just like you can't really go there in a complete state of happiness because you're scared that it's going to be taken away. So it's better just not to feel anything at all and to have hope than to feel the other way. And when you tell people that and when I tell them the way I feel, it's like they hear me but they really not listening. They're hearing what they want to hear. They're not really listening to what I'm telling them. It's like, it's bad. So yeah guys it's just it's really crazy that somebody who is who was the queen of pop you know somebody who oh, I don't even remember how old I was when literally Britney Spears was one of my quote unquote idols when I was growing up and to think that her life drastically changed like this who would have known that she would have literally been imprisoned for so many years everything taken away from her her having to be away from her kids and just she is such a strong woman because from everything that she has gone through so many celebrities have taken their life you know and she's still standing like she's still there she had every reason to just not want to be on this earth anymore and I'm pretty sure she felt those moments but she's still here for some reason and i really admire her strength her strength to fight and her strength to fight for her freedom and i actually really admire her fans for you know creating this movement to the point where they had to create this documentary and actually expose how they framed her how her dad you know did this and this lawyer and it was literally like mind-boggling i was thinking wow 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 like i i've never seen anything like this from a celebrity everything being exposed you know from the control uh, i knew the level of control these celebrities are under especially with dieting and the way that they look and what they eat and this and that but to the point where she can't use her phone by herself like she can't talk to people when she goes in an interview it's almost like everything is dictated they have to be pre-recorded they have to be sent to management the control is a lot but yeah guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section thank you so much for tuning in if you are new to my channel feel free to subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in my next video